How are we all doing? I hope everyone's keeping well out there. So, the cool evenings are in here now. It's about 6 degrees here tonight. And it's the first time I've had to put the heat on since last winter here in the shed. But it's nice and toasty in here. It's um, uh, nearly 19, 19 degrees here at the minute. So it's grand and warm. Tonight, I thought we'd have a look at something a bit different. Um, I was given this Bluetooth speaker by a friend of mine. Um, it's working and all, just didn't want it. So I thought we'd open it up and have a look inside it for the crack. Um, yeah, why not? So I'm in the old camera in and we'll smash it open. These things are so cheap now, they're just disposable. There's no repairing or anything on these. So as you can see, it's in the, the shape of um, a radio. Now the, the complaint was, it is working. But he said that um, the battery doesn't last very long in it. Um, so I'd say the lithium battery inside is probably worn out. And um, I'm sure that can be replaced. But um, yeah, we'll have a look inside. We'll have a little listen to it first. I've charged it up there and it's shooting. So we'll just play a little bit of music through it. Um, just a little bit so we can hear it. The internet will sync up with the phone here. Alright, um, I have it synced up to the phone, um, so it's ready to go. So we'll play a little bit of um, Bow Diddly. Let's see, will this work now? I didn't know they had teddy boys in the 70s. But, um, there you go, anyway. Right, that's enough of that. Because he, how Bow Diddy's grandkids I want their uh, sixpence out of this as well. Um, how do we open it? I'll tell you another thing I don't like about this though. Well, there's a couple of things I don't like about it. I don't like the, the way it's supposed to be like, shaped like a little radio or something. Um, the buttons on the front are fake. Apart from the, there is a proper volume control on it, which is rare. But um, other than that, a little blue light that flashes on and off to tell you you're connected, and a little red light to tell you you're charging. Um, and you see the little red lights on there charging. But um, that went out pretty quick, which I take it it does when it's full, fully charged. So, so that indicates to me that maybe the batteries are past our best. How do you want to open it up? There's no screws, I think it's just clicked together. It has that rubbery crap on it though. That goes sticky after a while. That we seen on the, um, the American Red Cross radio that I had here. Which I actually ended up throwing that out in the end because it was still sticky and it just... Any attempt to clean it anymore was just pulling all the writing off it so it, it was a mess. So it went in the bin actually. Unfortunately, which is the amount of stuff that probably gets thrown out just because it has this rubbery coated crap on them. Anyway, we'll attempt to open this up. Attempt being the thing about all.
they stick them together well and give them that. Where does this knob come off? Tools. It probably doesn't do anything for us either. We need a bigger screwdriver. screwed on the more force. Oh, we're in. <laughs> they really don't want you getting in here. That's for sure. Cut the speaker there. There seems to be a base unit in the back as well. It seems to be a fairly well made thing. It's not gonna fall apart anyway, that's for sure. We need to get um there's a couple of Phillips screws down these holes. They were just clicked in place, there's no glue or nothing on them, but yeah. Right. Hopefully me screwdriver will go down the hole like right that. This is this is the job. This is what. You'd wonder how much it costs them to make this stuff now. Is to it, those bar screws will come apart. Mm. We're in, we're in. Ah, so this is like a little I don't know what would you call that. Someone tell me what you call that. Well, obviously, it, there's a little sound box there and it's sealed. So this is probably acting like a, a, a woofer in the back. Someone who knows they're talking will tell me. Right, we can see there's not a whole lot to this. Now I thought there would have been a bigger um, lithium battery than that in it. Only a little uh, piddly. 350 milliamp. You wouldn't imagine that it'd last all that long driving this big speaker. At any sort of real volume. Pretty have cut that, but it's uh it's alright, doesn't matter. Um and the fake buttons hot snotted into it. Um so it's a Bluetooth module and Yeah, it's kinda rare to see a like you know, an analogue combined on off switch, like something you'd see in a fifty year old transistor radio. Um There's not a whole lot of fixing going on there. We could change this. I thought we'd have an 18650 there now, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's not surprising that that sort of is wore out and gone. So, you have your, this is obviously our Bluetooth chip here. This little squiggly thing here is your Bluetooth antenna. Um, and that's the chip doing the, the processing and all that. And this is the sound output chip here. And that's all she wrote. So there you are. I'd be interested in... I had a little Bluetooth unit I used to bring around with me. But it was much smaller than this. Um, Probably very similar to this. Although it didn't have an analog control. I had two buttons. Or four buttons on the top. Where you could pause the music. Or you could skip forwards or backwards on the songs. But, um, or you could turn it up and down. But I'm wondering, could we mount this into a smaller box or something? Um, and with a be better battery. Things to be considered. Little Bluetooth modules are uh, useful. You know, for you could fit that into a radio. Um, if you wanted to have a Bluetooth radio. 
you know, you wanted to put Bluetooth on our vintage radio. You know, you could feed the output into the, the grand pickup. Anyway, I thought that'd be interesting. It kind of was. There's not a whole lot in it. It's just a pretty looking box. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Um, like and subscribe and all that jazz. Good luck for now.